So, without anything more, I think it's time to introduce our master teacher, somebody who needs no introduction, someone who fills concert halls, opera houses, and indeed sells out master classes. Ladies and gentlemen, Joyce Di Donato. talking yet. I tend to talk a lot in the class. But what I'd love to do is just give a little bit of a, a sort of a um, groundwork for what I like to try and accomplish in a master class. Um, it's really important for me that you all know I don't look at this as a performance. I've mentioned this to the singers already beforehand that I don't want them to think of this as a performance. Granted we're on stage, there's an audience, there's lights, but I want this to be a playground. The thing that interests me most in a rehearsal process, in preparation, even in a performance, is the process. How do we actually get from point A to point B? And hopefully, are there, are there singers here, students? Can I see your hands? Yes, a few. Okay. Uh, most of you, the, uh, a lot of people are probably actually in school um, or playing hooky with the sun. But that is the thing still to this day that excites me the most is the process. So that's what I'd really love to try and focus on here. And we need your support to do that. We need you to understand that we're not necessarily working for a final product here, but we're looking to say, how do we actually find this? What's the process? What questions are we asking? And they need to feel safe in order to do that. They need to feel uh, that they have the chance to take a risk, which means maybe not being fabulous. <laughs> they might need to fall down a little bit first to <laughs> then figure out how to, to find it. Um, so I, I appreciate you making this a very safe environment for them to do that. Um, we will have some questions at the end, but in the meantime, I'd love to get started. Also, knowing that this is not a performance, I may jump in right away and not have them sing through the whole aria first. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what, what they bring us. So we're going to welcome Francesca to the stage. <laughs>
remind me I have a bad ankle because I'll forget it and I'll stand on it too long. Okay. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> you have a lot of adrenaline right yes. now, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you like do it all and then you finish and it's, oh, so get it out. Woo! Woo! Okay, awesome. Have you sung the role before? No. Oh, I can't wait to hear you do the whole role. Girl, this is good for you. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. We're excited. We're excited about this Elvira. We're really excited because you have this great color for the voice where you are all woman and there's some spice in there. And I want even more of that. Okay? Did you all see what happened when I sang a little bit? Yeah. Where's one of the singers? Tell me what you saw. Come on. Okay. Yes. Sorry? You responded to what you were singing. You responded. You came alive. We started to see Elvira. You kind of went, oh no. <laughs> right? You guys saw it. Now, singers, this is such a difficult thing to do because what we're trying to do here is very different than what you're going to do on stage. It's like we have to master a different skill in order to get the job to do the skill we really want to do. This is essentially what it's like to do an audition. You come in in a very false environment. You have to create everything. You have to show us the character. You have to show us the mastery. In, a, in an environment where you'll never be called on to do that in your career, unless it's a gala performance, then that's similar, okay? The second you heard something that put you into the scene, you started to enter it. I know, I felt it so. Yeah. What did you do differently? Just kind of relax and remember. Uh, I just relaxed and remembered why I'm singing this as Elvira. <laughs> as opposed to, what were you thinking when you started? I've had this already one month, I am freaking out. What? <laughs> through those lines at the end. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but now listen. You're going to have an opening night sometime where you do the role for the first time. Yeah. And we don't want, we paid 300 pounds to hear you. We don't want you to warm up for an hour. <laughs> we don't want that. Mozart doesn't want that because this is the first time we meet Elvira. Okay? Mozart, almost more than any other composer, knew how to make an entrance. He tells us everything we need to know about that thing. This is, um, you're leaping, you're this, there's no warm up time, it's fearless. What is Elvira? Fearless. Yeah, yeah, she's not having it. And that's what you have to show us right from this very beginning. So how do we get that? How do we, override this tape in our head that's going, oh God, oh God, oh God, I've only had it a month, oh God, oh God. <laughs> How do we override that? Breathe in the character. Um, it's a little generic. I'm yeah, looking for really specific, specific. tools that, that, this is technique. It's acting technique and vocal technique. I'm nervous, my hands are sweating, my heart is racing. Where do I go? What do I do? Breath. Consonants. I know if I start stacking the breath, breathing high, I'm going to be in trouble. So, okay, drop the breath, keep it low, use my consonants, think about the words, know where I am in Elvira's story, not the opera Don Giovanni, because there's been 20 some years of story before this. That's the mindset you need to go into. Ah, che mi dici mai quel barbaro dov'è? Okay? The rhythm in this piece is your great friend. If you make the rhythm correct but generic, we lose the character. Ah, che mi dici mai quel barbaro dov'è? Boom, boom, she's Spanish. She's clear, she's on a mission, there is no ambiguity. And we're getting that by 
the rhythm. Simple. And if you think rhythm, and you're like, okay, really bite into that rhythm, all of a sudden it's not, oh God, I've only known this aria for a month. Yeah. You, you override that system. Okay? I want you to sing, can you, I, this is an ornamental thing, can you sing the first line and one time with an appoggiatura and one time without? My. Which is what you gave. Yeah. And then try it with an appoggiatura, tell me what you think. My. Yep. Why did you say the first one? There's no wrong answer. There's really no wrong answer. No. Well, that pagetura reminded me of the stress on the word my, and I thought maybe that's more appropriate than my, like I just realized I was doing before. For me, if I ah, can be dici my, that can be you bastard. <laughs> But I'm really going to emphasize that I'm not doing an appoggiatura. If I do it's more passionate somehow. The first one is more concrete, more I'm out for blood. The first one is more I love you, god dang it. <laughs> Which one has more purpose depends on, you can make both of them have it. But case in point, this kind of every decision that you're making, and it can change. Today it could be a pagiatura, tomorrow no. Yeah. But whichever one you make, you have to know that that's the only way it can be sung. <coughs> so when I can say, I ask you which one has more purpose, can you say the first one? Yeah. <laughs> that's how it's going to sound to us. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. So this doesn't mean, again, I'm talking process, it doesn't mean you get something in your head and you decide that's how it goes. You have to stay open because Charles McCarris will say absolutely as an appoggiatura. Hmm. Tony Papano will say no. And you have to know how to make both of those choices totally valid and seem like the only possibility in that moment. How do you do that? Yeah, you gotta sell it. Well, barbaro dove, barbaro dove. I'm kind of accenting all of those eighth notes. Yeah. Then we get. Right? It's not beautiful, gorgeous singing, round tone, beautiful. Means nothing that doesn't show us who Elvira is. So what I'm doing is I'm highlighting the legato and then I'm choosing to break it with the I see you, I'm gonna kill you, and I'm gonna kiss you. It's not Giovanni! So it's always, it's not manic, and it's not overdone for, because Elvira is histrionical, hysterical. It's because she's, has so much emotion. And one time she's so clear, I'm gonna make him pay. God, why does he do this to me every time when I come back here? Okay, can we start working on it from like that point of view, pardon me? Okay? Yeah? Let's start with it. And what's your first word? Ah. Is it akemi? Akimi di chemai. Akimi or akimi di? Pardon, I, I'm sorry. I'm a mezzo, so sometimes I don't use the best language. 
Shit! <laughs> Damn it, Kennedy! Oh, Kennedy! It's not ah, oh, Kennedy. Which is very pretty and refined. Ah, oh, Kennedy. Kennedy. Oh, oh, Kennedy. Okay. But all with the beautiful vocality that you give, but the intention I'm talking about. Why doesn't he go Kimidichinai from Mozart? First thing, ah, oh, oi, ay, she's Spanish, ay, Kimidichinai, ay, you know, okay? A couple measures. Giovanni, Giovanni, Giovanni. Um, desperate, purposeful. You have to think, how long has the journey been? You've been in a coach with a horse, and bleh, dusty, mm, you've been searching, 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 searching. You finally get out, and you finally take a swig of water or whiskey or something. Ah, <laughs> Really, every syllable, purpose, purpose, searching. It's not... It's agitated. Already in the music, it's agitated. Da, 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 da. Okay. Something in the middle. Yeah. 
We don't like generic. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Disdain and and anger and all of that stuff. How dare you? Okay. So again, beautiful singing. Hurt, anger, <laughs> ugly cry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, awesome. 
fab is that ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Uh, You have to be kind of fearless in that again. And it's just because she has so much passion, rage, love, anger, self, stupid Elvira. She knows better. She can't help herself. Ba -dum, ba -dum, da -da. Really let that be what it is, which is extreme, right? in a vocally healthy way, then, then you get to recover and give us the most legato wonderful. So we make it a bit edgy, edgy, always knowing where we're coming back to recover that dignity, Donna Elvira, but she's still a woman. So this piece gives us the chance to find all those different layers. Okay? So, no, no, I was just trying, no, you were great. I just want you to, I'm just, don't mind me. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I'll see you for a while. You're your Medea. drama here. Go back and just keep going out without any of this articulation. Do it cold technically so that the vocal purity is always there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then start mixing in this kind of specificity. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you don't. You have to have subtext for all of this, and it is rampant. She's boiling with anger, lust, Hatred, shame, guilt, passion. She's blinded by all of this stuff, which is why she's traveled miles and miles and miles to see him. Okay? And you need to get really specific because you have a very special voice, and when you're generic with it, it doesn't set you apart. 
It's normal. Not the voice, but the presentation. Mm -hmm. And you're at a point now where that's no longer acceptable. When you give us that, all of a sudden, we see Alvira, we see Francesca, we see your point of view starting to come out through Mozart. That's ground zero for you now. Does this make sense? Is it surprising to hear that, or it goes in with what? Yeah, that's what I'm getting completely. <laughs> yeah, because here's the exciting, exciting, wonderful part. You're at an extraordinary school, okay, with wonderful development, wonderful talent, that is no longer sufficient. A lot of people have great talent. Now is where you start crafting your artistry, while then backing up and going back to technique, technique, breath, all of those things. But that will not serve you at all without all these other elements. And it's specificity, it's tearing into the Italian, tearing into the articulations, the rests, the dotted notes, all of this. Okay? And then you start to come to life in a way that's compelling and not normal. There's no place for sort of normality, especially with Elvira. <laughs> Makes sense? Yeah. So, do you have an idea sort of on, on process, like how you want to go in and sort of yeah. attack this? Can we just do up to that point and just give us, rip it, let it, let it rip, <laughs> let her rip? <laughs> no, just from the beginning up until where we stop. Okay. I want to hear it and just go for it. Mm -hmm. This is your opening night at the Met. You've been, <laughs> <laughs> okay. You've been training for 20 years. You're already the Elvira of choice. People are saying she's Don Elvira for time. So you own this role. You own it. You know her inside blood. You performed her with Muti, everybody around, greatest cast. You, you know her and show us who she is. But at this moment, there's no place to think like that. That's for the studio, it's for quiet study. You were much more Elvira, and you incorporated a lot of what we talked about, which is great. Yeah? yeah? 
And what else did you feel? Vulnerable. I was like, should. But yeah. <laughs> but you came across like hellfire. <laughs> That's great, right? I mean, and te we got more text, we got more rhythm, we got more articulation, and we weren't sure what, what attitude was going to come next. Which is great, because rather than going, we know how this aria goes, because you were thinking and you were creating in the moment. Remember you said it felt scary and new yes. and unchartered? Yes. <laughs> this is where we want to live. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, it's calculated in terms of we do the study, we know what the voice is doing, we trust this, but then we get to make choices here in the moment. And with that, where you're always searching in the moment, as a result, we have to listen differently because we don't know what's coming. And interestingly for you, you don't know what's coming next either. <laughs> it's scary, as you say, but it's thrilling. And it's finding the balance. I mean, you can't be reckless. No. It has to be calculated because there's too much to organize here in performance. But this is a really challenging, thrilling thing, and I think you need to throw yourself into this space a bit more and get away from being um, controlling of the perfection. Now, don't lose that, but there's a space for that, and, and, but you've got to get into this territory because the result is more exciting. Am I wrong? Am I right? <laughs> And, and, you know, you have a very reliable voice that is, you can trust it. Okay. And you can challenge it. Okay? Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you.